Ah. Et revoilà. Le trio. Pour le remix. Hab la chichi. Ah. Imotech. Mami. Kamel. Et on y va. Now when this angel comes to me, I know it has to be a good reason. This angel to me blows his horn oh, so loudly. And when this angel comes to me, I hear the echo of our Father. That just has to be a lesson, a message for us all. Right. It's mid-April 2012, and tonight I have Archangel Gabriel with me. There's a reason why he wants to give this message, which will be Angel Message 4, something about, um, uh, he'll give me the title later, but something about God blowing his trumpets of woe and wonderment. And I'll just kind of wing it here and, and let him kind of direct my thoughts to what he wants to convey to everybody. He wants me to first say that what's happening here is no different than what happened to Daniel the prophet and John the Divine being visited by angels such as Gabriel and Michael and Jesus to act as messenger angel to back then give prophecy about what's happening right now and then now to explain why all of this is happening. Uh, the first aspect he wants to convey is about the trumpet sounds happening all over the planet. He said there, on a cosmic level, when the, the sun emits the solar flare that's intense enough, it generates a, a sonic boom that sounds like a trumpet, in a sense. And then when those um, trumpet rays or sonar, solar um, sound waves go through the solar system, uh, depending on where the Earth is related to it and um, certain cosmic factors, the solar flare generates um, a trumpet-like um, pierce through the Earth's atmosphere and bounces off the Earth so that the, the cosmic ray generates almost like a, a trumpet um, depiction and the sound waves come in at a certain area and it sounds like trumpets playing and vibrates the earth everywhere around it. And this can happen in different places depending on where the rotation of the earth relative to the solar flare is happening. Now these trumpet sounds are uh, God's way of uh, sounding the presence of the fifth dimension that is generated with neutron ultraviolet light energy that these trumpet sounds are uh, made up of as they are uh, shot from the sun as neutron ultraviolet energy and that energy is being generated from the 
central galactic neutron star that we're coming into alignment with and the cosmic reaction or um, the, the, you know, the cosmic storm generated from Nemesis Nibiru coming into the presence of our sun causes this reaction. Now all of this is pretty much summarized in the uh, crop circles that happened a couple of years ago where they show the, the exact positions of, of the planets on uh, um, at the end of the Mayan calendar and then the next depiction when Nemesis Nibiru is coming in, the sun's expansion, you can see the, the expansion of the sun and all of this is generating these funnel clouds everywhere and tornadoes and uh, fires and all of it related to end of days prophecy. The end of days meaning the end of days which is the last year. This is it. So all of this comes to a climax now. <clears throat> but what he wants to also portray as God's messenger angel sounding the presence of woe and wonderment is that uh, those uh, from the shadows, the Anunnaki reptilian predatory race whose system is this money changing, you know, system uh, is coming to an end. It's prophesied, Babylon shall fall. They know that when these trumpet sounds start happening, everyone's kundalini illumination system is going to be fired up. So they have a short time to do what they're going to do, to lead everything into Babylonian dragon harvest killing fields in these major metropolitan areas that allows for their harvest. They harvest humans, among other things, precious metals, and irradiated precious metal. Uh, Anyway, all of this is coming to a climax, and so as the cosmic storm intensifies, and all of the earth changes intensify, which will happen faster and faster, everything will be brought to um, a state of warring conflict. And what is happening is that this neutron ultraviolet light energy that's coming into the Earth's atmosphere now, um, irritates the heck out of demons that are using human hosts. So you'll see uh, demons irritated by this energy that use their human hosts to strike out against others and create as much conflict as they can. Uh, Oh, you see it everywhere. I, I see it locally. I see it on all levels. But he's trying to explain why this is happening and that you need, as Daniel and John were told about Babylon, when it falls, to get out of it. Get out of the way because they are the environments generated for the Babylonian dragon Anunnaki Principality Harvest Reap. What else can I convey? Love. Yes. When you feel irritated, irritable, when all around you seems to be shifting into some other sort of reality, love it. Don't resist it, love it. And in that state of non-resistance to it, in appreciation for it, because it will end up cleaning up this whole reality. In love of it, in non-resistance to it, you will find peace in it. Thank you, Gabriel. Anything else? Yes.
the major earthquake that is prophesied to happen all over the planet happens when the Earth's rotation stops because it reaches a state of neutrality in adequate assimilation of neutron, neutral energy. So when that happens, the whole magnetic field of the Earth will go to zero in for a short time. And when that occurs, you will be given adequate notice of it. You'll notice that it's, it's happening. He says, he's got a song about it. What is it? Uh, um, one of his songs uh, about not locking your doors and getting ready and find your lover because when this happens, everything will shift into this, the age of Aquarius and a whole new reality. Uh, but in the chaos ensuing, that is when the dragon harvest happens. So be aware that these trumpet sounds are sounding the presence of this occurring. Call yourself whoever you might be. Call yourself. Go find your lover. Don't lock the door. Call yourself whoever you might be. Call yourself. Don't lock the door. So Gabriel said to me there would be a huge earthly shaking that will shake the heavens in giant raptures and it's only news to pray that your life is worth the fall of wishes to shake the devil up from your selfless senses. Call yourself, whoever you might be, call yourself.